What's up, kids? <laughs> Steve again, aka the Tech 660. Um, bring you another project of mine. Uh, What's up, kids? <laughs> Steve again, aka the Tech 660. Um, bring you another project of mine. Uh, hang tight and let's go in. All right, guys. As you can see here, we got the dashboard out. Actually, partial dashboard and replacing. Uh, the air box you want installed due to once again say it again kids rodent damage god I wish I could flip this camera around when it's at this mode but all the stuff involved dashboard goes here um, as you can see it was on the table over there uh, parts in the back and then more parts up here so yeah project of mine for the day um, have this finished by maybe Thursday well actually Thursday uh, afternoon and until then thanks for watching All right, Steve here again, aka the Tech 660, aka the king of removing dashboards and putting AC boxes in, etc., etc. Another project here. Um, let me get around to the other side to show you. More parts, more parts. Anyways, uh, this dash is ready to come apart, but uh, the drawback is uh, this guy has aftermarket uh, monitors inside his vehicle so I'm dealing with uh, some you could say foreign wires and everything's all connected uh, or else I would be removing this entire dash board outside so technically I would have to pry this dashboard onto the seat and uh, do my work uh, inside so what I'm doing is uh, replacing the evaporator core, which is somewhere in here. But like I said, I gotta pry this uh, onto the seat in order to uh, you know, complete the task. Or else, like I said before, I would uh, remove this entire dash board outside. And the problem is uh, there's, like I said, again, foreign wires. You know um, all over the place and they're all connected with each other so they're not like uh, you know uh, connectors that you know quick uh, disconnect but anyways guys my job for I don't know a day or so but um, thanks for watching stay tuned